Hello, welcome to the video. Today's video, we are gonna give the government dine out, actually what, I get, get, what's it called? Dine out, dine out to help out, is that what it's called? <laughs> Hang on, let me get a look. <laughs> eat out to help out. <laughs> Today's video, we are gonna give the whole eat out to help out thing a go, see what it's like. If you're not in the UK and you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, we have got, the government have put in place a scheme that on Mondays, Tuesdays and Wednesdays, any eating place, so cafes, restaurants, uh, pubs, fast food places, they can join this scheme, which means that when you go and eat at their place, you can't do it as a takeout, you've got to go and eat there. As the customer, we will get 50% off, up to a value of £10 and the restaurant then claim it off, back off the government. The aim obviously is to try and get people back out. As with most industries, people have really suffered, businesses have really suffered through Covid and the scheme is you know, to try to get people back out using hospitality again, which yeah, as long as it's all done in a safe, socially distanced way, whatever, it is a good thing. You know, we, a lots of businesses have been forced to close due to Covid and it's important to kind of you know, stop that as much as we can in a safe manner, of course. We have been very careful about what we have been doing since, since lockdown in the UK. We are quite open now as a country. You know, shops are open. We can do kind of most things that we could do before. Everything does look slightly different. Masks are mandatory in shops. There's only so many people allowed into smaller shops and things. And just as around the world, everything does look slightly different and you know, the UK, is no different to that but we figured that we are gonna give this a try today i was hoping to be doing it on a sunnier day where we could sit outside but i don't think that, that is gonna happen today i think the weather is due to pour down to be honest i am thinking that hopefully we haven't but i'm thinking we may i may have left it too late most places are taking bookings only well they do say you can turn up but you're probably gonna be disappointed to be honest um I'm gonna have a look at the government website. We have a website where we can put in our postcode and it will list all the restaurants or cafes or whatever that have chosen to take part in the scheme and to be honest, most places have. We do want to try and support a local independent business rather than a chain. That's just our view on it. So I'm gonna have a little look now and see. The place that I was thinking of going, I've just had a look and the only time we can get a table for is like half past two, which doesn't work for us. So I'm hoping that if we can get something somewhere, if we have to go for a chain, I mean, we'll, we'll maybe we'll do a chain, but if I, I'd like to do a, um, a small independent place if possible. So let me see, let me see what I can uh, find. All sorted. That wasn't the easiest, to be honest. Um, how I did it was like go on the website, put my postcode in, and then you've got a big list of everywhere, like in distance order away from you. So then I went onto like the places that I fancied, went onto their Facebook pages, and uh, then he'd, like messaged them on Facebook or like they lots of them had like a link to the website or you could like send a message whatever to book. Quite a few places were booked up until like half past two ish or whatever. But I did find somewhere we are booked in as you saw at twelve o'clock at a local independent pub. We are involved in the eat out to help out. Grab the door for me, please, Stephen. We've been seated and we have a menu, like a, a paper menu and a pen. And then on the other side is the track and trace stuff where we need to put our name and contact number of all our party. <laughs> what are you want? having? So, as you can see, there's no like screens or anything. Up and I mean like we're, we are the only ones in here so I mean there's no problem but I can imagine like you, you're not far apart from tables there's no signs or anything on tables to say that certain ones aren't in use um, yeah I don't know what it would look like if it was busier to be honest our food has arrived and it all looks absolutely delicious more people have started arriving now it's getting a bit busier Thank you. 
Oh. So we are back from our lunch, and I've got to say, what did you think? Have you got any thoughts? Like how it was like set out or whatever? Or... Mm. It wasn't set out. It wasn't set out, absolutely. I'm really quite disappointed in how it was done. I was expecting more, to be honest. So as you saw, they did have hand sanitizer as you went in. But honestly, I didn't even see that until we were leaving, and no one said to do anything. Um, we did have to leave our details, like when they came with the menus, they did explain that, you know, make sure you leave your contact details on there. But just the setup, how like close the tables were, it was, when we first went in, no problem, it was quiet, we were the only ones in there. It was like a, like, sort of like a traditionally type English pub and it was like, it separated into like different rooms, so you just saw the one room that we were in. But there was what, like five, five big tables and a small table, and... <sighs> I mean, they were just so close and no screens or anything. As it got busier later on, people were like, like, I mean, okay, you're back to back, I suppose. Aren't you allowed to be back to back, I think? Um, you were back to back, like, I don't know, 50 centimetres apart or something. Um, I just, my overall sense of it was that it wasn't done very well. I have seen like places, you know, I've been on walks and things and I've peeked into cafes and restaurants. I have seen that... You know, quite a lot of places have reduced the number of tables or they've got screens up and things and just didn't, didn't seem to have anything at all really in place there which is yeah it's disappointing that that was that was what it was like to be honest it doesn't particularly like i mean i wouldn't go back there at the moment with covid it doesn't necessarily put me off going out to eat places because i know that other places are better but I think if I was, we were to go out to eat again and we were eating indoors um I would definitely like suss out what the place is like beforehand and you know check that they have got the screens or that you know the tables are like I think far enough apart and things but yeah a bit of a disappointment in all honesty food wise it was delicious but covid secure wise I'm not quite so sure and just like I've heard of like different restaurants and pubs and things that are like they're putting the like the waiters, the waitresses, waitresses don't come over to you, um, or they do come over to you, but they like they put the food like on another another table like next to you, and then you go and so they're not coming too close to you, but they just like came around the table and was leaning over. It was honestly it was just like normal times. I figured I would go on the gov.uk website to see what it is recommended for food places at the moment. So I've gone on gov.uk and there is a section working safely during coronavirus and then there's different sections. There's a restaurant, pubs, bars and takeaway services section. And to be honest, there is quite a lot of information on there. There's this section, keeping customers and visitors safe, where it does say about the whole NHS track and trace where you need to keep a temporary record of all customers and keep that for 21 days. They did do that, which was fantastic. The current guidance does say that indoor gatherings should only happen with groups of two households, including support bubbles. And so obviously we were inside. No one seemed to bother whether we were one, two, three, however many households. I mean, maybe we didn't look like we were more than two households so maybe I can't really comment on that but there was no checking of that and to be honest I think that that is a rule that lots of people don't know exists to be quite honest and to be honest I do think that that's a rule that quite a lot of people like the general public don't really know exists that we can't gather anywhere in pubs or anywhere with more than two different households. There is just lots of information on here talking about letting customers know about how they're working and using different signs and things. There wasn't anything other than the sanitation station, which I didn't even register was there. I didn't even see when we walked in. There wasn't really anything there at all, to be honest. It does recommend on the website to ask for verbal confirmation of the number of households. That wasn't done. Honestly, I don't think anywhere is doing that unfortunately it does talk about lowering capacity or rearranged seating i've been to that place i mean it was a long time ago when i've been to that place but i have been to that place quite a few times before and to my memory it didn't look any different in terms of table setup i don't think that they've rearranged tables or anything at all i didn't go round into more of the pub to see what that was like purely for that kind of safety reasons 
if I didn't need to be wandering around, I shouldn't have been wandering around, in my opinion. When we went away a few weeks ago, we had breakfast at our hotel, and when we went in, it was all like one way, you had to go around in a certain way, and it was all really quite well done with loads of social distancing stuff going on, but here there just wasn't anything at all. I don't know whether people maybe think, I mean, let me know in the comments whether you think I'm being over the top about all of this, but you know, we do have our current guidelines of what we are supposed to do and not supposed to do what we're allowed to do, what we're not allowed to do. But the government have set out for a reason and they are kind of ever changing and we're getting local lockdowns and things now, which in my area there's a lot of local lockdowns. As far as I'm concerned, those guidelines are there for a reason and we should be following them. Obviously, I don't know what this place has done kind of behind the scenes. As a customer going in for the first time, didn't really seem like they had done that much, to be honest. I think that the thing at the moment is everywhere you go unfortunately like but it should feel different you shouldn't go anywhere whether it's a shop a pub a restaurant the cinema i don't even know if cinemas are open actually i don't know what's open because <laughs> we're not doing anything but wherever you go it shouldn't feel the same because steps should be put in place and there should be certain mitigations put in place with all businesses that it does feel different and it just didn't there and so that was just like a red flag in my opinion. Let me know what you think. Have you tried this scheme? It is almost over. It ends at the end of August. So no, not long left on it to take advantage of it if you do want to. But if you have tried it, let me know what your experience was. I know a lot of people who have tried it and have had really wonderful experiences. And I also have spoken to lots of people who kind of just don't care anymore. They're happy to go to places like that. They're just like, well, whatever. <sighs> I mean, everyone's just kind of fed up about it, aren't they, I guess. But my opinion that they needed to have done more to reopen for covid and these times but do let me know what you think in the comments be kind about it all <laughs> but yeah let me know what you think thank you so much for watching and i will see you soon Bye.